With words like flapjack, dinner, kitchen, and open face, you may think we're talking about a new restaurant, but we are not. These are all terms used in pickleball, which USA Pickleball reported in 2023 had nearly 9 million players volleying and dinking on courts across the country. Pickleball is a mashup of ping pong, tennis, and badminton. It's actually been around since 1965, but has recently exploded in popularity. While there are numerous social and physical benefits to playing the sport, there is also a growing list of injuries that could put players in a pickle. At Holyoke Community College in Massachusetts, Sharon Grundle manages healthcare training programs and enjoys playing a good game of pickleball. But Sharon admits all that fun on the court can come with a risk. I was hit in the eye with a pickleball at close range. Barbara Johnson plays with Sharon. Barbara says she's experienced the joy of winning and witnessed the agony of an injury. I was just playing with a friend um, a few weeks ago and he ruptured his Achilles tendon while we were playing. And my sister, who lives in North Carolina, uh, sprained her wrist when she fell playing pickleball. I see a lot of uh, falls, things like uh, wrist fractures. Duke orthopedic surgeon Jocelyn Witzine specializes in sports medicine. She not only treats pickleball injuries, but she plays pickleball with her family too. Dr. Witzstein says a majority of her pickleball injured patients are older adults who may push themselves a little too hard on the court. The most common uh, thing I see is people coming in with knee pain and swelling, as so that tends to be that group over the age of 50 that's maybe developing some early knee arthritis. A 2019 report in the Journal of Emergency Medicine echoes Dr. Witzstein. It found more than 19,000 pickleball injuries occur every year with 90% of them affecting people aged 50 and older. Another study published in Injury Epidemiology found wrist and lower leg injuries were most common, mainly due to slips, trips, falls, and dives on the pickleball court. Playing sports where you might take a fall or a spill on a, on a hard surface um, does put people at risk for fractures. Nine, seven, one. To help protect against getting hurt, Dr. Wittstein says make sure you understand the sport and what your body can tolerate. It's a, probably a good idea to kind of assess your balance and your agility. Um, if, you know, if you don't have good balance, this is probably not a good sport to take up. She says strengthening your lower body and core can help with balance and coordination. And Dr. Wittstein recommends taking it easy if it's your first time hitting the court. Maybe don't go out there for two hours the first time you play, or just be thoughtful about not playing too aggressively, maybe not going for every shot. As for Sharon, she now wears protective eyewear when she plays and encourages others to stay in the game. And I knew that this was something that was pretty popular and that bringing some classes to the college would be a lot of fun. If you do get hurt playing pickleball, the doctor we spoke to says you should follow the RICE protocol. Step one, rest. Step two, ice. Three, compression. And step four, elevation. Dr. Wittstein says you could also try an over-the-counter pain reliever. She adds that a turmeric supplement can help reduce knee pain in people with mild arthritis. Be sure to call a doctor if the injury doesn't get any better after a few days or if you heard or felt a pop. Up next, a retired scientist carves out a second chance from what some may see as scraps. This would make a good heavy bench or table. From atoms to wood grains, how he finds the beauty in the abstract.